So I'm doing my daily browsing of the Steam games, free of course, because I have no money, and uh, they're looking just as trash as usual. But I hear from down the grapevine that there's just a few games that if you have on Xbox, you can download them on your PC. So I go investigate. It's on the Microsoft Store, and I go and look to see what games are on there. Turns out, not phenomenal ones. We got Sea of Thieves and Ark, and uh, good old Candy Crush, baby. I mean, look at this. Would you be happy to play, pay $70 for this piece of shit? I mean, look at the trees in the distance. They look like Shrek's butthole, Jesus fuck- So I had to go with Sea of Thieves. I had some good memories from there on Xbox. Me and Anthony just sailing on the seas, murdering and stealing. So with faith that my computer could improve on that, we just got right into it. And I know a lot of my videos are always perfect. But in this one, the audio is a little bit scuffed. Oh, whoa. Weird, it has a whole like animation. And so I started my journey. I started by looting up just like any other self-respecting pirate does. Remembered I had some guns. Oh, I have guns. Wait, how do I get guns? Mm, yes, guns. Tossed on the old murder flag so everybody knew exactly what my intentions were. And I was ready to go. Started off my journey solo because Anthony wasn't there yet. And things were going great until I was called a coward by a giant floating head in the sky. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did it do that because it knows I'm running away? Luckily in no time I had spotted my first boat and I was already feeling pretty confident. It was only a sloop, that means there's only two people. 1v2, I like my odds are. I pulled up on them, I started shooting some cannons, and they are just the worst players of all time. I don't get hit at all and I just sink their boat. But this was a great warm up. Now I have Anthony and my crew and I'm ready to start taking on bigger boats. We're coming up on our first boat, it's another sloop. I don't know if it's one or two people, but we approach and we just start fighting. I'm not in range yet. Okay, yeah, you're good. I'm gonna raise a little bit. Because they're pointing forward, I will not be in range for a good bit. Oh, they're turning, they're turning. Oh, they're turning. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can you shoot it? Can you shoot? Left. Can you shoot? No, turn us a little bit left. No, you're good. You're, I'm going, I'm going, actually. They put their sail up. Yeah, yeah. They're now. They're ours. Get ours, get ours down, get ours down. Good one. Drop anger. Nice. Whoa! You drop anger, you gotta drop anger. Oh, he's scuttled, he's scuttled. Oh, he's tons of loot from Vintage First battle, little on a vivil, won't lie. It's one dude, he has no teammate, plenty of juice though, and then he just kills his own boat. We went to where his boat sunk, I got all of his loot into a rowboat, put it on our own boat. But I have hope for the future, my PvP skills in two swipes prove to me I'm already good enough. And as we left our first battle, a question struck my mind. Whenever I left Sea of Thieves about a year ago, the, one of the reasons that I left was because of the people running away. Nobody ever wanted to fight, and you could chase people for hours and hours, and they would never turn around to even take a shot at you. And after my first two encounters, I could only think that this was the exact same thing that was going to happen this time. So as we encountered our next loop, this exact fear came to fruition. We tried to get close a couple times, but it just wasn't working out for us. Oh, no way, dude. You might say it. No way. Yeah, there's no way. <laughs> I'm so far. <laughs> We chased them forever with absolutely nothing happening, but near the end, they finally started to turn around and we started doing loops and taking more shots. Yeah, yeah, yeah go up more, go up more. Uh, it might be good, it might be good. If they keep turning, I should have it. Okay. They might turn away, but... Oh, it takes forever to swim I up. know, I know. Can you get it? Can you mermaid at least? Can you mermaid quickly? Me. Can you mermaid quickly? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going. I should have it 100% no matter what. I should have it. They're shooting. They're missing. You up? Tanked, tanked. Okay, I'm gonna start raising our shield a little bit. Good one, good one. Nice. Built that, built that. Oh baby, PvP legend. And after spawn killing just a few times, the condition of their boat got a little bit worse.
I might have to. Oh, one's back. One's back. One's back. back. And after that big long chase and hard fought battle, we got rewarded with absolutely nothing. And after killing the same idiots again who came back for revenge, I guess, <laughs> we had our sights set on something bigger. After a quick sub break to get rid of some of our most valuable stuff, we went for the faded skull fort. At skull fort, it's mostly PvE. You have to fight off some skeletons, but in the end, you can get a lot of stuff. Now, me and Anthony weren't exactly looking to fight some skeletons, but the fort usually brings in a lot of other people. As we started combat with our first non-sloop combatant, a brig, uh, that means there's three people on it, we got a little surprise. I messed up so hard. They have so much loot, they sunk somebody else. Now we're turned directly at them because I'm stupid, bro. Just and after circling for 10 minutes, we finally got going. Didn't we? Dude, I, I can't remember how to get on the thing. Save my life right now. Is he on the boat? Oh, he's on the boat, he's on the boat, he's on the boat. They drop anchor. Oh yeah, I need a lot of help. Okay, I'm on their boat right now. They have so much, they actually have so much. I killed one? Just repair, please repair, please repair. I'm fighting a guy down here. I got one. I killed another. They're all dead. They're all dead right now. Just repair. Please repair. I'm a brown. Oh, they're stacking forts, I think. We killed some sneaky boarders, and unfortunately, we spotted another you sloop coming in. So we had to start taking it a little bit more seriously and focusing the bridge. Uh, you can get Keep slamming. Uh, we are out of cannibals. Fully? Yes. And they're on the boat. I'm dead. I'm coming back to our boat. Yeah, I'm yeah, coming. We did hit them. We hit them. So we probably have a hole. I got blundered. You dead? No. Uh, we're dead here. We're dead. We lost. I think they sunk too. I think so. Did you kill them? Yeah, he's dead. Brick sunk, brick sunk. They sunk? Yes. There's a sloop. They're, they, are, uh, they are attached to the sloop right now. Sloop is very bad. Very bad? Very like bad. Earlier? Very, very bad. I just need you to get here. I'm coming. They're actually atrocious at the game. Wait, slow down, slow down. Uh, we race sail? I'm done shooting, I'm done shooting. He's Get off the cannon, top. bro. I think they have a keg. Did once, I have no bullets. Keep turning the boat and make sure sails all the way raised. Ah! Okay, turn, turn, turn. We gotta get the loot. He's dead, he's dead, he's dead. We actually won. We killed an insane amount of people. And we started to gather up all the loot while anxiously waiting to see the brigantine on the horizon, but nobody else came. So we got everything. Put on our boat, hit emissary grade five, and started to head to Reaper's hideout to sell. Care about losing the loot. Uh, we're gonna hit keg. We're gonna hit keg. There's no keg. Get there's off no the keg. get off the front oh, of the keg. boat. Get off the front of the boat. There's a keg right there. You didn't hit it. You missed it. Oh, oh my god. We lost. Overall, I was a little nervous coming back to the game due to my Xbox experiences, but it was actually a lot more fun on PC. The loading times made the game much more bearable. And finding people that were willing to fight, or just finding people in general, seemed to be a lot easier this time around. Unfortunately, the game takes a long time to get anything accomplished, like two, three hours at the minimum. But I think if I played it on stream a lot, it could be a lot of fun. So that's probably what I'll be doing in the next couple of streams. So hopefully I'll see you there. See ya.